Wait. What are you slagging them off? I'm not slagging them off. Oh, that's all you've done, stand there and slag them off. Who, Chelsea? Yeah. Yeah. No chance. What's going on people? It's Kai here for another episode of Terrace Talk, right here on Standout Sport. As you can see behind me, we're at Stamford Bridge for the visit of Liverpool. Potter's gone. We're going to get the view from the fans to find out how they feel about it, who they want as their next manager, and if Klopp is untouchable as well, because that's the big question also. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, you name it, you'll find us. So yeah, it's going to be a good one. Check it out. Potter's gone. What's your opinion? Uh, we'll see. I'm on the fence as far as what, what's going to happen next. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, hopefully they get somebody good that's going to turn it around and bring him back to the top of the table. I feel a bit sorry for him, but it's not good enough, 39%. Mm. We, when you've got those kind of players, you can't be in 11th place. It's just not good enough. It's, it's too long to, to have Potter on, the, on our bench. I don't know, I just wish we didn't get rid of Tuchel so quick. But, this, hey. this is what everyone's saying, the feeling is we got rid of Tuchel too early. We still should have Thomas Tuchel as our manager. Yeah. There was no reason to get rid of him. You're American, so you're used to owners coming in and just buying whoever they want, <laughs> like a kid in a candy shop. Do you think that model works over here? Uh, like you said, we're used to what we're used to, so I think it does. Sometimes you just gotta flip everything, and sometimes that'll do it. But you know, I mean, there's so much there's so much history here that all you gotta do is get the right culture back instilled, and it's gonna turn around. Potter's gone. Who comes in? I'd like Julian Nagelsmann. Why? Because he's a bit more like Tuchel. He plays a pressing game, intense. He's young. He's dynamic. He's managed by Munich, you know, these players, they want someone they can respect, look up to. I think Nagelsmann is the best choice. No, over Pochettino? Yeah, definitely over Pochettino. Pochettino is Spurs coach, not, 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 not Chelsea. Pochettino? I think Pochettino is good. Because they're from Argentina, my country. Who did you support? Liverpool. How your season going so far? Terrible. It's going terrible. How can it improve? I don't think it can. What about next season? Yeah, 100%. We'll be back on top next season. Back, Standard. 100%. Back on top? In, in clock, we trust. I trust Clark, yeah. You trust him? Yeah. I think I would not get... I don't think there's anyone right now out there that you're going to... There's no one out there that's going to replace him. I don't think there's anyone that can replace Klopp at the moment. If there was, then maybe there'd be more pressure. But because there isn't, I think we want to keep him. Who's going to win the league? City. City? Oh, OK. Over Arsenal, yeah, Arsenal are in a commanding position right I know, now. I think Arsenal are bottle it though, you know what I mean? They've got honest. it all in their own hands Yeah, though. but we can finish them off next week at Anfield. Yeah, we'll finish them, end off, that's their season over then. Arsenal. City. Why City? When they get in the run of form, they'll just win 10 games of the bounce if they want to. Arsenal, you don't know if they can do that or not. This is their first time doing it. I'd rather City win it just because there's no City fans around me, so if they win it, fair enough. I know they want the Champions League, mm. so no, if they don't, if they win the Prem and not the Champions League, I don't think anyone minds. But I think if Arsenal get a result against Liverpool in Anfield next week, they have it, I think, personally. I've got a controversial opinion about Chelsea. I think the man to get you out of this mess is Jose Mourinho. Does he come back for a third time and save you lot? No, nah, he doesn't. He doesn't. I, I love him for what he's done at the club. But um, at this point, he's not the same Mourinho that he used to be. I, I really like he was a special one for a long time. He did a lot of special things here. But that time passed and you've got to keep moving forward. Fuck off. Wait, what are you slagging him off? I'm not slagging him off. That's all you've done, stand there and slag him off. I've been a pot of fans since he got here. I didn't even want well, him to go. God. You didn't want him to go? No. Why? Because I wanted the man to be given a chance. Do you think they got rid of him too soon? Yeah. You were willing to accept the results yes. as, well, as they were? Yeah, well, I was willing to accept them right off the season. You know, I've heard you lot standing there saying I'm hearing all these, I'm hearing rumours that the players are standing outside there and they're doing this and doing that. It's all bollocks, mate. I want Ancelotti back, but I don't think that. I think that's, that's far past. He, he, he loves Madrid. He said that the other day. I know. But he's the best man that we've had in, in my lifetime here. Yeah. I've been here for 55 years and what I heard you standing there talking to that fella was a load of old Polony, mate. That's why I had to say something. I'm very sorry. No, no, that's good. That's good. All right. you need it. What's your name? Gary. All right, Gary. Enjoy your hot dog. I'm going to love it. Enjoy the game. Thank you very much. Nice Thoughts on the game real quick? Yeah, hey. bullshit, mate. It's f***ing... There's an old dog running up, barking, woof, woof, all right. You know what I'm saying, all right? And I was like, hey, you dog, you know what I'm saying? Don't distract the game, son. You know what I mean? Bus stop, son! <laughs> the way we played today, we should be top of the Prem, I think. I mean, 
I suppose we're going like Liverpool, Liverpool crap as well. Wait, wait, hold on. What did you say? <laughs> I just think we should be top. We should be top of the league. We do not think. We have performance. You need to be converting on those chances, man. You need to be converting. You're Liverpool playing that badly. You need to be winning that game, you know? Big time. Yeah. Who's your man of the match today? Uh, Kante. Kante played great, didn't he? He was on for like 60, 70 minutes. Yeah. 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 Enzo or uh, Angola Kante? Kante, I'd say. Kante only played 60 minutes. So I thought, I still, I thought he was the best player on the pitch. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm more hopeful for next season. This season, it's a write-off, but I'd still like to see. I want to see some goals. Yeah. I came all the way here, and just too many games that we've had a nil on our side. I got to the stage where I said I can't do it no more because I'm so uh, emotionally invested in it. It's affecting my home life and that, do you know what I mean? So I thought, I'm going to have a little break. Come on Saturday, I thought, oh, do you know what, I'm going to come Saturday. We end up walking out after 70 minutes, same old story. The day was completely different, really enjoyed it, a lot of effort. We looked like we knew what we were doing today. Yes guys, and that has been it for another episode of Terrace Talk, right here on Standout Sport. Chelsea probably should have won, Liverpool, they need something, they're looking really dire going forward. But that's been it, I'm Kai, this is Terrace Talk. Like, comment, share and subscribe to our videos we post every week.